You're a brand new nugget in the squadron and everyone is watching you close. So far over the last two weeks you've been doing pretty good. Your bombs are hitting the target and you win an occasional 1v1 fight against your squadron mates. Your boat rates have been averaged to slightly above and for a nugget that's got to be good. On this at sea period the winds have been high and the deck has been pitching a bit. But today the sea is like glass. This is going to be a cake landing. You've just lowered your gear and flaps and slowed to optimal. As you roll out and start your descent to 600 feet, you hear the LSO announce, Nine to nine hornets. Went over the deck 25 knots axial. You don't think much about it, because every day you've been flying, he said the same thing, or at least almost the same thing, and it hasn't made any difference. As you reach the beam position, you look over at the ship to verify your turn point. The picture looks a little different than before, but you've expected that. After all, it's a calm day, but it's a fleeting thought, and you return back inside the cockpit to focus on your turn to the 90. As you reach the 90, you take another look at the ship and notice again that the picture is different. The wake seems larger, more noticeable, and the sea state is flat, no white caps. Your only thought about this before returning to focus on intercepting the glide slope and flying the ball is at least there won't be a pitching deck. Clara, you're low. Power. Right for lineup. Where are off? God damn it. God damn it, it's right! What happened? The answer is wind over the deck has two components natural wind and wind generated by the ship's movement. 25 knots of wind over the deck is desirable, but by itself doesn't help much. You need additional information. Some of it's direct, as in the LSO adding Axial to his wind over the deck call. Other times it's indirect and comes from weather reports or from your own observation, such as an obviously flat sea state, no white caps. The predominant wind condition is non-axial, which is anything less than 4 degrees of right crosswind. That condition is most common because the ship's course can be adjusted to make it so. Axial winds occur when the ship has to make its own wind, i.e. in calm conditions. The following three sequences are presented as straight in approaches, but apply as well to the case one pattern. The three sequences are presented in two parts. The first part is just a quick look at the existing sea state for that approach, and the second part is the final mile of the approach to trap. The three sequences are 1. The normal DCS situation, wind 15 knots, ship speed 10 knots, wind set at BRC minus 5 degrees. 2. Wind down the angle deck. Wind 22 knots, ship speed 3 knots, wind set at BRC minus 9 degrees. 3. Ship making its own wind. Wind 0 knots, ship speed 25 knots, wind set down the BRC. As you watch these sequences, pay attention to sea state, aircraft heading, velocity vector offset left or right of the island, and velocity vector elevation relative to the end of the angle deck. Enjoy! <laughs> 